All right, all right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Kadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, being Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, being Yahweh Shai. All right, the only names in which you could receive uh, salvation, whether you could receive that or not. And double honors be unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, rule all the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you can receive that or, uh, or not. And peace, love, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect of the house of Israel, all right, who are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity and in charity and in faith and who are able to receive these things which are needful for our salvation, man, all right? Because <clears throat> what we have going on in the world today, man, the elect are being sealed. They're waking up and realizing who they are out of the house of Israel and and. and Preserving their body as a, as a living sacrifice, presenting their body as a living sacrifice before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so you have this governing body being established, all right, uh, uh, in order to to govern the planet Earth. Meanwhile, the governing body that you have over the planet Earth today, being the elites, being Esau Edom, are being removed, man. The powers, the Earth is being shaken. All right, the powers are being are being plucked. All right, go ahead, brother. You got that? Uh, okay. Haggy, yeah, come. This is a uh, hat. Haggai uh, two seven. I was, and this is this is why all these all these grape juicers, all these Edomites, man. That's why they're raising up, and 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 they're terrified, man. The truth is horrifying to Edom, because it's 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 marking their downfall, man. Just us proclaiming the truth is prophecy being fulfilled and, and showing you how close it is to their end, man. Uh, Go ahead. Uh. This is Haggai two and seven. I will shake all nations. And the desire of all nations shall come. Right, right. And the desire of all nations shall come. And what is that desire? Let me grab that real quick out of the book of Revelation. This is uh, Revelation 11. And we'll start at verse 15. It says, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Hamashayak, and he shall reign forever and ever. All right, that's the will for these nations, man, to be ruled over. Okay, and how are they going to be ruled over? Let's go ahead and jump, jump forward to, uh, we'll jump back to Revelation chapter 2. This is Revelation 2 and... Uh, 27 and he shall rule over them with the oh let me go to verse 26 so like it says and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will i give power over the nations and he shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers even as i receive of my father so when you take a, a pot and break it into a million pieces that's how these nations are going to be beat down man they're going to be they're going to be beat into subjection so to speak all right, because <clears throat> this governing body is being established in which order will be reestablished on the planet Earth. This is uh, Revelation 11 and verse 18. It says, and the nations were angry. Why? Because they're being bashed down, man. They're going through a heavy change. They've been conditioned underneath the wicked that, that rule the planet Earth. All right, these powers that, that, that are at B today, but that but like, like, like we're breaking down, man, they're being shaken. They're being removed from their seats. So the end all be all is here. And, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and thou and, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name small and great and sh and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth and why did it say that because Esau has destroyed the entire planet man all these different pollutions these cancers all right everything that they've done and this is all underneath the rule of the so-called white men the the, the all the world problems are, 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 are that, that are here today have been created by the so-called white man. All right. The ruler is the one to blame, man. OK, but that's why order is going to be reestablished through the taking of this place, man. Go ahead. Up. I'm going to go this out of Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah. And all these riches. That, that that you see the elites have a man have been gotten by deceit all right they, they they you you have to put yourself in debt in order to to make any credit out here 
all right and 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 the way that you put yourself in debt is by is by is by the elites man the the, the people who own the, who own the, own the world mm -hmm. so you go and you and you put yourself in debt and then you have to pay them back double so you got everybody on the planet earth doing this these people are making buku bucks man all right rich has gotten by deceit and unrighteous dealings how did they get america how did they how, everything that's been done all right is has been done in in wickedness and that's why just like the brother was getting out of uh ecclesiasticus 10 and 8 kind out of out of ecclesiasticus 10 and 8 it said that it's going to be it'll be translated from one people to another all right and that's then and, and that's why the scriptures were saying that that these nations are going to be shaken and 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 the desire of them will come go ahead I... Con, going on it says uh Haggai uh 2 and 7 and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory right the house of Israel with glory said the most high they're going to they're 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 the true heirs over the planet earth man that's why the world is in chaos that's why the world is out of order because huh. the because the true powers are are removed but we're we're we're, we're what we're seeing everybody is seeing before their eyes man is 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 Esau's time ending and and our time beginning all right sorry is that it on that brother I'll just just to come, finish come it on hopefully it says uh say at the most high of hosts Con. This is uh, Hebrews uh, 12, I'm going to start at verse 26, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, yet once more, I shake not the earth only, but also the heaven. And how's that going to be done, man? Thermonuclear missiles, 200 million nuclear missiles just coming to America, man. That's going to be a whole lot of shaking. It says, and this word, I mean, because what else is going to shake both the heavens and, and, and the earth? Uh, didn't the book of uh, uh, Nahum say that, or uh, the book of uh, uh, Malachi say that uh, uh, the end of this place is going to be is going to be like the end of a burning furnace? It says, "In the world yet once more uh, signifieth the removing of, of those things that are shaken." Right, the removing of those things that are shaken. So the whole earth is shaken, man, and all these powers are just the the, the powers that are on top. Are just trickling. They're gonna trickle down to the bottom. It's got, all right. It's just, just a whole sifting process is going on. Meanwhile, you got you got the the two thirds being sifted out of the elect. All right, the elect being sifted out of the world. Okay, going on. It says, as of the things that that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Right, those that cannot, those that endure, those that can stand their ground. That's why in Revelation two it said what, those that overcome unto the end will receive this glory over the nations. All right, wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve Yahweh acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our power is a consuming fire. Whoo! Man, that's heavy. A consuming fire, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is truly a power to be feared, man. All right, this has to be something to, to, to always keep in the forefront of your mind man before you pray realize you're, you're talking to, to to the power that ki that that kills and makes alive man you're talking to the ancient of days um, all right uh you got that other precept brother oh, God, God, God. Oh, good, huh? this is uh nehu three and ten yet was she carried away she went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces. Right, being being the, the Israelites. Her, our children were dashed into pieces when they went under captivity into these nations. When we got put under these curses, going back to Deuteronomy uh, 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 28 and 15, all right, that the, all these curses would befall upon you if, if you, if you uh, forsake me, all right, then our enemies were put over us. And what did they do, man? They didn't have no mercy, man. All right, go ahead. This one, this why we ain't going to show these devils no mercy. Con, I'm going to grab that because I was going to grab a precept as well in that 28. Con. So I'll grab uh, Deuteronomy 28 uh, and 15 just to back up what the brother was just getting on. But it shall com come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of, of the Most High thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Yep. No. Nope. So, 
all those curses would overcome you. Go ahead, brother. You were gonna say something. Con, con, will overtake you. You know that's why we, uh, we, we in the state that we are, man. Um, and and just to further prove uh, back, back that's uh, uh, step up. We're gonna grab twenty eight and forty three. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shall come right. down very low. Beautiful, brother. So the other nations will be, will be put over. Over uh, over us very high over over the uh, Israelites who are meant to reign. All right, so basically the translating of power. All right, unrighteous dealings, man. Go ahead. That's right. Mind uh, grabbing that. Uh, you saw. Uh, yeah, yeah. We you, huh. we're gonna pull that one out after. Okay. Forty four. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Yep. He so. The, uh, our enemies will be lending. To, <laughs> how how many brothers give give out loans to the elites? Nobody does, man. We take we take loans from the elites, and then we got to pay them back double. Go ahead, Doc. He shall be the head, and thou shall be the tail. That's what's been made, man. But according to the scriptures, those that are those that are at the head, all right, being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, their their elites are gonna now be made the tail. We've been made the tale. We're serving our curses, man. But there is an ending to these curses which is coming. We're going we're gonna to get these scriptures, man, just to bring it to a full circle. Uh, go ahead. Tom. Go, going back into Nahum 3 and 10. Let me, let me grab this set real quick too, brother. Tom, this is Ecclesiastic, or, so lucky, Ecclesiastes uh, 11 and 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun and as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity. And and the rich sit at a low place, right? Folly is set in great dignity because the 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 wrong guys, basically the wicked, all right, are in rule, man. Mm -hmm. All right, the the just like the uh, the scriptures tell you, all right, uh, uh, Esau is the border of wickedness, man. All right, the the basically the embodiment of wickedness in the flesh is Esau Edom, man. All right, and he's in rule. So since he's in rule, all right, Job nine and twenty four, the wicked beareth rule. Folly has been set in great dignity. Everything that's contrary to the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is set in great dignity, man. And the rich sit in a low place. Why? Because the brother just read it, man. We would be made the tale. It says, I have seen servants wa servants upon horses, because these Edomites, these so-called white folks, man, are, are meant to be servants. All right? All these heathen, heathens, all these nations are meant to serve us. It says, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. So who are these people that are walking as servants upon the earth who are meant to be princes, man? Who matched those curses that we just read? Go ahead, brother. All right. This is Nahum 3 and 10. Yet was she carried away, she went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets. Yep. And they cast lots for and her. See, that's why we're going to have mercy on them, man. Right. That's why I said, happy shall he be that dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So you read it and, and act like you might be offended, man. But when, when, when judgment is being poured out, man, it's going to be in all righteousness. Look at all these things these people have done throughout history, man. Hmm. Uh, just imagine the things that haven't even been recorded. Mm -hmm. Esau is a freak, man. Raping little children. He probably was raping those kids before he did that, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. I... And they cast lots for, for her honorable men. Yep, cast lots for her honorable men to take them. And probably to rape them too, man. Take and, them as their possessions. Con. And all her great men were bound in chains. Thou, though, it's like it. Thou also shall be drunken. Thou shall be hid. Thou sh also shall seek strength because of the enemy. All thy strongholds shall be like like fig trees with the first ripe fruit uh, figs like it. if they be shaken they shall even fall into the mouth of the eater Con. that's true that's true too because you know no no uh, uh, we, we usually have like a cherry tree in our backyard you know and uh, usually you know those first like you know cherries that, that ripen first you know a lot of the times man those birds birds or squirrels will come by and, and get it and if those birds or squirrels don't get it, man, they don't. Uh, eventually, they'll end up falling off before you do. Before you get it, you know. Mm -hmm. it says going on, thirteen. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee 
are women. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open 